huge one. And I don't know why I feel the need to address this because I was once told if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But the Twitter trolls came after me for this so hard for so long. And I'm about to clear the fuck this the fuck up. Someone said, is it true you slept with Hey guys, um, so I got this great idea to do an Assumptions About Me video from Nick and Les and um, I went on Instagram and got a bunch of questions um, or what, what would I call them, assumptions. I got a bunch of assumptions from Instagram um, and I'm actually really shocked by some of them because one, they're super repetitive. So obviously a bunch of you guys think the same thing. And two, some of them are just like so outrageous that I'm like, what the fuck, why would you ever think that? <laughs> so um, I'm gonna kind of start from the beginning and just filter through the ones that I feel like are worth answering. So the first assumption that I got is that I'm hard to get along with. I don't think that I'm hard to get along with. I think that I'm super friendly and like outgoing when I first meet you obviously get into my moods just like anybody else i do think that i come across as a huge bitch on tv but that's not really the case when you know me and you're close to me that's just how i feel but you'd have to ask my friends oh i'll sign in okay <laughs> and this is my friend liz hi so i recently recently just became friends with kale and um i you know i i know where she came from is from mtv so I didn't, you know, I clearly wanted to, uh, it's interesting to know what, what someone's like whenever you watch them before. Yeah. And she is literally not at all what they make her to be. Um, she's an awesome person. She's so sweet. Hey. Like, I was so, I mean, like, it's like, they make you out to be so bad. And it's I don't know, I feel like I'm pigeonholed. Like, it's like, okay, maybe a few times I've been a huge bitch, yeah. but I'm not a huge bitch all the time. But for the right reasons. And I feel like most people yeah. don't, realize that, that it's just how they edit and cut and stuff but she's cool <laughs> thanks Liz. i would say 90 percent of these are about hobby and so i do want to clear some stuff up about that um one was did you cheat on javier first or did he cheat on first while you guys were married so nobody cheated unless you would consider us being with other people after we filed for divorce cheating you did see on Team Mom 2 where he said that I cheated on him. I had already filed for divorce. He already lied twice prior to me filing, saying that he filed. For me, if I filed and we're both with other people, it's not cheating. But take it or leave it. I don't really care. I didn't cheat on him. Um, so that's how I feel. You wear a size 12 shoe. Um, I don't know why anyone would assume that. I actually wear an eight and a half. In women um, someone said you're really in love with hater and you're super jealous of her new girlfriend so becky and i have never had any type of like relationship outside of just being platonic we kissed one time um just for the shit of it when we were both single i guess um but we never had that type of attraction and i'm not jealous of her girlfriend i'm really happy for them and Hopefully everything works out. So I don't know why anyone would assume that. People misunderstand your personality and assume you're rude when you defend yourself. Okay, I feel like I'm damned if I do and damned if I don't. There have been times where I am super defensive and I'm trying to protect myself and I come off as a huge bitch. And then there was a time where like during my divorce, I just let Javi say whatever the fuck he wanted to and I didn't ever really defend myself. Um, and I feel like it was like a lose-lose. So then I look like I was lying or being shady and I don't really think that's the case. So, um, I don't know. I guess that's like a weird question. I don't really know how to answer. You and Leah are together. No, we're not together. We're just really close. And we have done other vacations in the past together and they never really filmed them. Um, so now we're able to like put it on social media and they're filming for it on the show. So that's super fun. But yeah, no, we're not together. A lot of these are about me being a bitch and that I don't have a soft side at all. Um, someone said, I assume that you're very sensitive, but you always keep it G. Um, I'm actually very sensitive, um, but I do try to be as honest as I can. And I'm also a people pleaser, so I do not like to hurt people's feelings. So um, it's a little bit of both, I guess. Clear up your relationship with Dom, actual relationship or not. Um, I'm not gonna do that, actually. I'm just gonna leave that where that is. Um, <laughs> I don't think I need to, I don't think I need to get into that, actually. Um, I'm entitled and stuck up. I think that sometimes I just know what I want and I know what I'm used to and I know what 
I'm capable of or what others are capable of. I don't think that I would say that I'm entitled. I think, I don't really ever think that what I ask for or what I expect is ever unreasonable. And I think that people also assume that I'm a pessimist, but I'm just a realist and I try to keep it as real as possible. And people don't like that. I think people are always sometimes too optimistic. Surprised to learn you are a Pisces. I feel like I'm a Pisces through and through. Do you agree? Yeah, for sure. Yes. Like everything about me is Pisces. Best. So I don't like, I think for people sure. would be able to guess my sign if I didn't tell them. Honestly, I was surprised when I found out you were a Pisces. Really? Yeah, but I granted, I didn't know you much yet. Like when you told me, it was like day two. Of oh, okay. Like so you were like, so, you weren't really sure. But it made all sense. Like, I, like now? Yeah. You're like, sure. now that we've been hanging out, you're just like you're me. You're so but Pisces. The earlier version. She's so boring. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I really <laughs> just like brought my she book. She reads her book all the time. And <laughs> Books are you. not boring. Matter of fact, me and Kev are going to start a book club. So yeah, we're going to start a book club. We're talking about it. So okay, well, I'm down. I'll, I'll be down for sure. That you really, really want a baby girl soon. I actually just said this. Like, I really do. I don't know what it is. Everyone says that, you know, you should be happy with what you got. And I, I am. Obviously, like, if I couldn't have kids, I'm going to be happy with my three boys. But I do. I really wish that I could have a girl at some point in life. That maybe you aren't as self-aware as you think you are. No, I'm definitely self-aware. Like, I'm going to call myself out before anyone else calls me out. And I hate when people that watch the show go on Twitter and they try to point out my mistakes as if I'm not watching the same show that they are. So I already know and I have the ability to look back on the show and see where I went wrong, admit where I went wrong. And do I like to admit where I went wrong? No, um, I don't, but it, it is what it is. And I, I am fully aware of you know the things that I could improve on in myself and in my life. Um, I'm very, very self-aware. That you sleep around a lot. Okay, this is funny to me because I see why people would get that impression or assume that, I get it. But if you literally ask the people that are closest to me and even guys that I hang out with, they will tell you. Like, I don't sleep with them. They know I don't sleep around. So I wish that, maybe I should have them do like an assumptions about Kale and they should answer these questions because I don't sleep around, which, I guess I can see why it's that hard to believe. Some people assume you're fake. I mean, I don't really know what to say about that. You could, everyone's gonna have their opinion. I mean, I don't think that I'm fake, but whatever. Okay, my friend actually said that you're stuck up, but I know you're not. So that was kind of nice. That you aren't sure of your sexual identity. I don't think that I'm not sure. I just think that I don't label myself i don't think that i'm gay straight bisexual i just love people and i feel like i say that all the time i don't sometimes people feel comfortable in labels and they prefer to say okay i'm gay or i'm a lesbian or i'm bisexual some people like that and some people feel secure in that but for me i just love people and it it's whoever i fall in love with so i don't think that it's that i'm not sure i just think that's just how i i'm just love people i don't know okay huge one and i don't know why i feel the need to address this because i was once told if it doesn't apply let it fly but the twitter trolls came after me for this so hard for so long and i'm about to clear the fuck this the fuck up someone said is it true you slept with your friend sterling's husband i'm not judging it's online no sterling's ex who she was never married to i mean maybe common law marriage so they probably called each other husband and wife like as like a pet name. Um, his name was Ty and I never slept with him. I've never even been alone with him. And quite frankly, I'm not even remotely interested in him. So no, the fuck I did not sleep with Ty and he and Sterling can both vouch for me on that one. I'm sure people assume that you have millions of dollars because you're on MTV. That is a huge assumption that people always say, oh, you have the money to do this, you have the money to do that. No, I work just as hard as other people. Yes, I was given this opportunity to be on TV and I took it upon myself to launch myself in other directions because of it. If I didn't, you guys would also complain about that. So this is another situation where I'm damned if I do, I'm damned if I don't. But no, I don't make millions of dollars being on MTV. Um, and that's unfortunate. It's unfortunate because I really feel like I have exploited the most sensitive and hardest times of my life. So there's that. Hair extensions, no. And I was at the pool all day. So I look around as a mess. 
You get really angry about stupid, unimportant things really quick. Yeah, I have a very, very short fuse and I have no patience. So yes, I probably do get agitated very easily. So I'm not gonna lie. You hate MTV. No, I'm actually thankful for the opportunity with MTV. Sometimes, just like in any other job, you get frustrated with where you're at and the position. And sometimes I do feel like I'm treated and portrayed unfairly. But to say I hate MTV would be a lie. I think that was enough. I don't really have any other. A lot of these are super repetitive. Thank you guys for watching and you can like and subscribe. Let me know if you still like to watch these videos. So since my comments are disabled, you will be able to go on the community page and comment on there for now. So just bear with me while we figure it out. So thanks for watching.